next time and take a picture. Hey guys, Austin's making a weird gist recording me, but uh, welcome back to Jerry Garage. We're on our way to go pick up an LQ4. Uh, we were supposed to record this intro when we were leaving, but I totally forgot about recording anything. And now we're like 20 minutes away, so it's going to be a while. Obviously, you don't want to watch this trip, so we'll probably just cut to the getting there and getting the engine and whatever later. Hey guys. Me and Austin just picked up the LQ4. We're gonna go get something to eat, some gas, and head home. We'll have more for you once we actually get home. It's not gonna be a whole lot of the drive just because it's mostly boring bullshit. So, see you then. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made it to Davis's. We're gonna get him to move his Mustang and I'll load this fucking engine. Well. It didn't take long, get another engine on the engine stand already. Yep. <laughs> this garage is never going to be empty again. I mean, at this point we're going to have two engines, two transmission, or sorry, three engines and two transmissions in here, and then just a myriad of other parts, so. Give me a little bit, I'll throw another tranny in there for you. Yeah, I mean, it's going to need another one. You're I'll putting go grab my other 4L60 and throw it in here just so we have even amounts. Yep. Did you tell anyone about what you're doing with it? Not yet. Okay, well, is now probably a good time to announce it? Do you think we should? So, uh, Vince probably queued you in, but we, uh, or Vince found this great deal. Uh, it's an LQ9. Four. LQ4. Uh, six liter LS, uh, platform engine. So, uh, this is, uh, gonna be going into his new project, new build project for the channel. Yeah. We're still, so, still. So, sorry. Yeah. In advance. Uh, man, I don't know if we should tell him. Yeah, I don't know if we should tell him, really. Yeah, so we might leave it a secret just for a little bit longer. We'll wait until we're like actually kind of putting things in motion because this is just one of those things. I did it because it's a good deal. I don't have the money to move forward yet. Yeah, also, this project isn't happening overnight. Like, it might even be going slower than pro we'll be going than Project yeah, F, like, F, you know. This could be a project that spans a year or two. Yeah. Like, this is going to take some money. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get this unloaded and onto the uh, engine stand, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, engine lift all set up. Uh, we also got the uh, mount for the uh, engine stand already set up on the engine. So uh, these two big boys are gonna go ahead and move the chungus over there so we can get it all strapped up. What you talking about? You doing this by yourself. Bye. <laughs> He's in my garage, what? I don't need you. Oh, is this mine now then? Strong, independent I'll take it if it's mine. Yeah, dude, would you have uh, how many miles today? So we should give it to Davis? Yeah, yeah. 100 miles to give Davis his Christmas present. Yep. Yeah, dude. All right, no, let's. We'll we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, out of here. Give it a yoke. Alrighty, that was pretty easy. Then once this is suspended, it'll be easy just to move this over here, get it all set up, and then clear some room for the garage so we can just drive it in there. Yep, and then eventually on a later date, we'll pull it apart and figure out what was wrong with it. Yeah, likely in the next week and a half-ish, yeah, we two weeks. Yeah, we're going to tear into this because supposedly it had a uh, oiling issue or something, or yeah, it was had smoke in or something. So it could be okay. cooked yeah. cooked rings or something, or... Yeah, it's probably nothing major to us. Yeah, I mean, you're really building it anyways. It's nice not having to get out my engine lift to do this. I'm glad you brought your own. Oh, so the dude didn't have his own to do it? No, he didn't. That's why this is with us. Nice. You know, when you when you put this into whatever we're putting in, you should just run open manifolds like this. No. It sounded mean as hell, dude. Just put two turbos on it and just... Yeah, it exactly. I like that idea. So you can, you can tell them what you're putting on it, right? Putting on the engine? Yeah. Uh, it's potentially going to be bored out to a 408 and be twin turbo. Yep. Potentially. Twin 64 or something? 60, 60 something. Yeah. 
Alright, guys, I'm gonna need your help. Did I open with it? Yeah. It's you up lift enough. it? Okay. It's up off the bed, I believe. Well, it's not off the tire. Oh, well, the tire will just fall off when we pull it back. Okay. So, you just need to pull it? Yeah. You just drop the engine on the ground. There we are. No, Project F! Bonk! <laughs> Great. All right, let's Actually. get him. Get this boy over here. We load the trunk boy onto the little roll boy. We move that. Ooh. What was that? Oh, that was the chain. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we might need to move it this way, and then bring it. This. Yeah, turn it that way. Yep. Sorry for the bad angles we're trying to... Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and lower it just a bit. Slam it into the ground? I mean, it's your call, fam. It's yours. It's your oil, fam. Keep going. I don't think we need grease. It's been on and in here before. But, oh, up a little bit. Biggest Honda motor ever. All right, let's fire her up. Yeah, dude. Yes. All we need now is the wiring harness and like everything, actually. Snap. No, this is the same. This is the same stand I have at home with my LQ4. Half ton, so a thousand pounds. It's flexing, but it's fine. It just snaps all the bolts. These might settle a little bit. I think I don't really know how tight the. Uh... It should be fine. Cool. Finger tight. Yeah, this engine stand really did not last too long without an engine on it. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> like what was it? Like two, three weeks ago, we put that engine on the uh, subframe. Yeah, one or two weeks. Yep. Oh, wait, it's got the different uh, steam venting system than mine does. What heads are these? Where's the casting number? Should just be uh, on here. Hot, sweaty garbage heads. They're the. They're nope, the not good for boost? Heads. Dude, no, they're butt anchors. are you shitting on GM? No, I'm shitting what on the these particular uh, heads. Dude, this is quality. This is GM we're talking about here. I mean, you probably could make a lot of power with those, but you know, you'd make more if you. I mean, you got boost, you can make all the power you want. Yeah. Boost thing. Anyone interested in a truck manifold, let us know, because I don't want it. <laughs> you know, for how high it is, I mean, if you're just boosting it, it'll probably handle it. I mean, you could probably make quite a bit of power on the stock manifold. I've seen a couple of people taking the shave, the top of these things down. Yeah. And they just fiberglass part of it in, because these truck manifolds actually do make quite a lot I mean, of they power. have they have long runners, and they're, they're designed for, like, low-end torque and stuff. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and make a path here. We have to move my transmission probably and uh, just bring it in the garage and uh, talk a bit more about it there and end it off. Yep. Damn, that thing's massive compared to this thing. 3.8, 6 oh. right Just wait until I put the Buicks together. Seriously. Yeah, we've I mean, it almost looks as big as it to me. It's a chungus. It is a chungus. Should get some... Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Alright, well, um, this is a, going to go into Vince's new project car. Yep. Uh, we have shown the car on the channel. I'm not going to say what it is. I think that gives it away too much, because I, I only have the one. No, you have to. Yeah, but we're already, I've, we've showed them the other engine and the other car. Eh, it doesn't mean you're not doing other things. Yeah, Vince has a lot of project cars, so. Don't worry about it. His daily is a project, even. This is true. <laughs> so, uh, yep, we, uh. I can't own a car he's, being a project. Yeah, that's true. Buy it, modify it. 
So uh, Vince is going to uh, put this in his project car. He's going to twin turbo it. Uh, but for now, short term plan, what we're going to do is next week and a half or so, we're going to take the engine, completely tear it down, figure out what's wrong with it. They said that it was burning oil and uh, smoking a bunch. So, I mean, it's getting rebuilt anyway, so, and bored out. Yeah. So hey, whatever, whatever could be the problem other than maybe it'd be a cracked block. And that's the only thing yeah. that, you know, could go wrong with it, but Yep. Cool. yep, and also this isn't necessarily going to stay in the garage too long either, because once it's all torn down, he can take the block back to his place, keep it in his garage. Yep. It'll just uh, have to be here on the stand to take it, tear it down. Yep. Just make it easier. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and end it off there, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. See ya.